Here are a few easy steps to sketch sinusoidal function. We have an example of sine function here. So we'll apply these steps to the sine function and then we'll take up an example with cosine function. The function is sketch y equals to sine of 2x minus 90 and x is between 0 and 360 degrees. Now let me first rewrite this equation in factored form. So in that case this equation will be y equals to sine 2 factoring out 2 x minus 45 degrees and the domain is from 0 degrees to 360 degrees. It is very important to factor like this and then see your equation since now you clearly know that the phase shift is of 45 degrees to the right. Do you understand that part? Right? Now from here we can summarize what do we expect. We expect two waves, right? Sine 2, that means two waves, right? And that also means that the time period is going to be, so we have time period of Three sixty degrees divided by two, that is one eighty degrees, right? And the phase shift phase shift is equals to forty five degrees left. Or we can say minus forty five degrees. So these are the two things which are known to us. So within zero to three sixty degrees, what do we expect? Within zero to three sixty degrees we expect two cycles, right? Two cycles. This is what we expect since the time period is 180, right? Now if I put 0 here, what do I get? I get sine of minus 90, right? So we know at 0, our value will be minus 1, right? Sine of 90 is going to be 1 and sine of minus 90 is minus 1. So the value at 0 will be actually minus 1, right? Now, what is the value at 360? So, if I substitute 360 here, or in the first equation, the value is, again, minus 1. So, that is kind of important to understand, since it helps you to validate or to check your result, right? So, these are the values which we checked at, let me write values at y0, when x is 0, and y of 360 degrees, correct? So if I substitute 360 here, I get that. So that is my value, correct? Now let me show you the sketching part, how easy it can be. So let's draw our x-axis and the y-axis. Now, since the magnitude, rather the amplitude is 1, so let's say this is 0, so the maximum is 1. So I'm drawing a dotted line here. This helps me as a guideline, correct? So this is minus 1 line. So what I have here is that is 0 and this is, let me use rather different ink to be good, plus 1, minus 1, right? And this is 0 for us, okay? And within this we have two sine waves. And our sine waves start with minus 1, okay? So it's a good idea to draw sine waves here. So I'm drawing sine wave starting with minus 1 because I know at 0 it is minus 1. So, so let me just sketch sine wave. So I already have 2, correct? So this is the first sine wave ending here, correct? This is the second sine wave ending there. And we knew that we are going to make two sine waves, which will start from minus 1, end at minus 1, right? Its time period is 180, so this point is 180 for us, and this is 360 degrees. Do you see that part? That is the maximum value of 1, minimum value of minus 1. So you get your result. So that is the answer. So that is how easily you can actually graph your function very accurately. Great. So, so that is how you should be doing it.
So even without a graph paper, you could get fairly good results. Since I don't have a graph paper, I didn't plot the points. I just made a rough sketch and drew it. If you do like this, you're going to get excellent results in shortest period of time. I hope you appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.